Returning back to Evil Within 2, the demo, Part 3, Chapter 3, on PlayStation 5. Phenomenal graphics. I wonder why I say that every time. Probably just to uh, tag it. Because, I mean, how else, uh, how impressed would you be otherwise? Look at these shadows. Look at these lighting. Look at O'Neill. He's my buddy. So O'Neill says, coffee maker, okay. All right, let's do a real intro. Um, hey, my workbench. Okay, we're going to explore. We as in me. I'm going to explore. They give me a lot of uh, parts. I think I saw one more for my workbench. Got some ammo. Got some parts. And now I can explore my safe house. So before I venture outside, turn this, turn this off. Let's check out what we have in here. This is the, um, the big safe. I wonder if I do want to save, just to make sure it doesn't, uh, just to make sure it doesn't crash and, um, pretty good. Survival. Pretty good. Just to make sure it doesn't crash and, uh, send me back to the start. He probably has nothing more to say. Take some coffee and calm your nerves. It's early anyhow. We've seen how the horror elements work, we've seen how the story works, and we've seen how talking to uh, O'Neill and Mobius works. So now we're going to see how missions work in the open world. Pretty good. Takes the good. edge off. <laughs> Takes the edge off. It's kind of like when Solid Snake smokes cigarettes. It's pretty good. So I have to come here to craft. Because I'm such a handyman, that's why I'm playing a video game. Jesus Christ. Uh, crafting or weapon upgrades. Collect weapon parts and use them at the workbench to upgrade your weapon. Well, since I'm not really playing this for real. Fire rate, fire power. I guess weapon parts 30. Might as well do this, right? Um, you are missing the following components. Weapons parts times 60? Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Handgun bullets. Medical syringes. Um, I guess make them. That's all I can make? What about more bullets? Sure. I don't care. What about... Make as many as you can. I don't care. It seems like it's not worth... I immediately just thought it seemed like it was not worth it. Field crafting. Oh, <laughs> it seemed like it was not worth it to make handgun ammo. Because it's like you're wasting all your... That's probably better for like explosives or like more damaging rounds or something. Handgun you should probably just pick up or just use your fucking knife. Select the field crafting from the arsenal menu. I don't want to do that. It doesn't sound like a fun mechanic to have to do in a video game just to beat the stupid thing. So, no. I'm not going to. What's in here? I'm still in the building. Uh, frame rate's unlocked from 30. Not bad. He got, um... He got scared. What the... Okay, what about out here? That? Is this still the outside? Go outside and use your communicator to track the girl's voice. So this is my safe house. I kind of want to go back in there and figure out what the hell that was. O'Neill's safe house. And look, my flashlight's on. Turn that off. Hold to look in. Now I get to press and hold, but other times I have to mash. I'm back in Sebastian's room. I'm a detective in my house. I have my crafting workbench. I can't go back into my investigation chamber. Okay. Sit in my uh, medical chair. And, um... Take the edge off. I think this game's getting boring. I think it's getting boring. What the hell? I'm hey, trapped and stuck. Let me out of here. Yeah, I'm bored. I can tell I'm bored. Detective Castellanos. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome. Is it because I know I'm not in for the long haul and it's just a demo? How are you here? I guess if I'd bought it, I would have been tuning out, tuning out before even you walk around the open world and do any mission. Cause, oh, I what is it about open world games? It's not a it's not a tailored experience. It's not a designed experience. 
It's like, now go do this. And it's like, I, I don't play games for activity. Just I don't need, I'm not looking for something to do. You're supposed to be artists creating a unique experience that I could not have otherwise. Unless I wanted to invent the art. So, open world is like, now run out. It's like, it's like go outside and play. Because open world is now slang for outdoors. And it's like, run outside and do all these tasks and missions. It was more fun when I was trekking through that weird hotel with the white banisters and the clanging clock and the red drapes. And it's like, God, they designed this. And now it's like, you're outside. It's an open world. There's a bunch of items. Go do a mission. And it's like, this isn't Grand Theft Auto. I can't get in a car and listen to the radio. Health, that would probably be good. Purchase skills to improve firearm use. Stealth seems pretty good. Recovery, well, let's look. Um, toughness. Increase max life gauge, probably good. Reduce reticle sway. Stealth. Um, produce less noise. What does it say? Making enemies slower to investigate. Recover more health when using healing items. Weird, okay. Um, increase stamina gauge. Maybe just health. Um, yeah, maybe just health. You are missing the following components. Green gel 100. Oh, it costs literally one more than I have. God damn it. I wonder if it's possible to get enough before you come here. Green gel. Can I just, like, find something? Can I manufacture some green gel? It goes back there again. I could save again. Um, I could talk to my cat. I guess I didn't find any slides. I didn't find any slides, so there's not really any reason to look. Um, I've already been in here. What's new in my office? What's new in my office? I wonder if some of these guys are dead already. Have you seen him? Investigate. Being the tip of the knife is a dangerous job. So he's dead? He's the guy who died? Oh, he's the guy who... It shows that photo next to him. So we learned he's dead. He got shot. Liam O'Neill. What about Miller? Herman Miller. Harrison. Combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. Well then, let's look at O'Neill. We found him. You don't have anything to say about the one guy that I found? What a jackass. And Union Station? Alright, this game's getting sedentary. Let's go out into the field and do a mission. <laughs> he kicks it open. I like that. I'm going to go out into the field and do a mission. Wow, fast loading. Now, would it have done that on PS4? I don't want to go out that way. I want to go out the other way. He kicks it open and scares O'Neal. Well, what? Go outside and use the communicator? Oh, I guess he did run down the steps. I can't really remember the uh, layout of his house. He blocked it. Fuck. Can I see if the enemies are still out there? I can't really tell. I'm trying to look out the window to see if the enemies are there. I can't really tell. All right. I think that arrow means um cover, cover art. You don't even have to press X; just run toward it. Go outside and use the communicator to track the girl's voice. All right, let's look around. Huh? Okay. Let's see if I can find this signal he mentioned. Looks pretty far away, but it's the only lead I've got. God, I love Lily. What about this one? We've been through power screws. There's too many of them. That must be the signal O'Neill mentioned. All right, get out of here. Wait a minute. Um, X reload triangle. So triangle pulls it out, huh? What the fuck? I like how it keeps pulling control away from me, the player.
The ground's cracking and ripping apart. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's looking at. But doesn't he remember this from Evil Within One? If it keeps breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta try to find that signal. I want to find that rogue signal. What's this one? Unknown. I want. I. What do you mean cancel lock on? What do you mean cancel lock on? Like, set waypoint. Why not just do that? Why not just set a... That looks so terrible. Why not just set a waypoint? Why Why would I need to pull out this and lock onto it if it doesn't keep showing up? Oh, because if I get close... Look at that, look at that beat across my screen. In the left hand side. That is dumb. So then. Cancel lock on. It's still there. I fucking don't know. Alright. I gotta look inside all these buildings. No, I'm not doing that. I wanna stay outside. I don't wanna go inside buildings. I just wanna grab, um. Grab gear. Pick it up. I want to grab gear and kill guys, and I don't want to go inside buildings and get spooked. He's carrying a torso by the head. That's pretty cool. This kind of has a weird, um, sort of like PS2 kind of vibe to it. Kind of like a weird graphic style to it. Um, it's just kind of goofy and cartoony in a fun way. Is he going to see me? I didn't mean to do that. Um, it'd be nice if I could kill him. Is he walking as fast as me? And stay crouch. And then slime him up. Very good. Now I have... God, now I have enough to upgrade. Great. Those things are piling corpses up here. But Weird. I wonder... Yeah, I wonder why they're collecting corpses. How... Wouldn't they know? Maybe they just want to eat, you know? Guys gotta eat. So then maybe fine, I will lock onto it. What do you want from me, dude? That's where, um, Harold was. <laughs> Who got shot. This game sucks. I'm tired of talking about it and playing it. Open world stinks, dude. Craft a linear experience. Craft a fucking linear experience. I don't want to have to go through you. It's like, open world is like, I have to go through your game. And I realized the open world games that I like are story games, so they are linear. You know? Red Dead and Grand Theft Auto and Horizon have a story mission. So, all I have to do is... All I have to do is... Follow, follow the missions. Um, I don't have to, like, run into the open world and try and figure out how to play your game. I would have played on casual, where items are abundant. That sounds great. I want a plethora of ammo, and I don't want to get spooked. Kick it open. A fuse? I don't know what that is. Open? Why can't I level up in, um... Wow, where are you going? Why can't I level up in, um, my safe house? Why do I have to go back to that stupid detective cave? My back cave. I guess I don't need to crouch in here. Press and hold. Go to, go to the marrow armory. What? Still working. Loading three percent. What are you loading? What the... Well, let me get there. Hold. Go to the marrow armory. That's what I'm doing. The marrow. Cedar Ave. Exit. Go to Union Cedar Ave. Can I get... It's like a hidden alcove for weapons. 
But there's nothing in here? Hey, great. There's one weapon part. Some handgun ammo. And then I'm full. Pick that up. 6 and 20. And what, I'm going to have to waste it in here? Have I even fired my gun yet? At that one basic enemy? I don't know. It's getting kind of sedentary and tiring. It's not like an experience anymore. Like a fun horror experience. Which is so... It's so odd that I'm kind of open to that. I hate horror movies so much. Horror games are really different and interesting. Alright, let's fight. Let's just see how fighting is. I don't like those sound cues on the top of the screen. Can I, uh... Sneak stealther? Uh, I don't know. They seem to walk faster than me, dude. Dude, I get it. You can kind of mash X there just to make sure to get him, though. She's still alive? What? All right. Yeah, I don't know if I would like combat in this game. Um, I hated it in the first game. It's just such a shame because the first game is really cool. It's a very good game, but um, I can't play it. As soon as I shot some zombie in the head three times and blew half their brain off and they were still alive, I thought, nah. And I think my friend and I were playing on easy. We were both like, nah. And then we got Bloodborne. Metal pipe. A component. I thought I was supposed to be in the open world. Why'd I come out here? I think this game sucks. Open world is so just disjointed and disheveled. Okay. So do I just sneak kill everybody? Who's behind me? A blocked door. Take your green. Like that weird sour lime powerade. I like that the um, broken fuse boxes can be powered momentarily by firing a shock bolt. Well, I don't have that. I like that. Um, we can come back here. Ooh, it's an open world. Yeah, I'm going to come back here. I like that. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Whatever. Adjust amplitude. Oh, God. What am I adjusting? Adjust amplitude, adjust frequency. Which one am I adjusting? Wait, the frequency's changing. Wait a minute. Rotate to adjust the height and width of the green wave until it matches the... Oh, until it matches the red one. Wait. Unlock. Weird. So open world is like... You're going to have to remember to come back here. Oh, set a waypoint. Set a waypoint to remember to come back here when you have a cross bolt to uh, temporarily power the door. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> Who gives a shit? Why don't you just let me do it when I'm here now and make it interesting here and now? And all I'm getting is ammo and components. Give me a gun. Imagine that's the other thing about open world. Give me a fucking gun. Looks like a weapon crate, right? Alright. That's what I'm saying. Open world games don't reward you for going nice. off the beaten path. I'll take it. Hold to select from the arsenal menu. Let's make it left. Le Actually, let's make it up. Nah, let's make it, um... My right-hand man. Nah, yeah, let's make it up left. All right, open world games really do. Oh, I'm seeing the days gone. Yeah, just. I mean, the story and the attitude is right. The graphics and the controls are good. I think I just don't like open world because there's a lack of direction. There better not be enemies either. 
Open world games need to give you a reason to travel off the beaten path um, and reward you. Can I open that? No. They need to reward you for... They so rarely reward you for traveling off the beaten path. Whereas, like, if you think about... Wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, that, that missed? The top one did. I don't like those, uh, those icons at the top. If you think about an adventure game like Pokemon or Zelda, and Nintendo is a good example of this, where you can literally stretch the bounds of the game as far as you can go, as far as your character is allowed to move, and you'll encounter people and they'll tell you all sorts of crazy shit, and you're you're like constantly pushing the boundaries of uh, you're pu constantly pushing the confines of the world, and those are open world games. Don't call them open world. Wait, what's coming undone? Oh, fuck. Let me see if I can run. Is he alive or dead? Where'd they come from? Yeah, I don't like the aiming in this. It's like, I don't know. It's too slippery. Does he be slowed down? So you think about something like Pokemon or Zelda... Um, you're constantly pushing the boundaries of the open world. Hey, wait a minute. Take. Yeah, we know what that does. Unlock the other, uh, whatever. Can I press this? No. All right. So you're constantly, like, trying to find the edges of the confines of the world, where you're allowed to go, and trying to unlock more and, and stretch out and press out and, like, find more spots, right? But in so, but in open world, it's kind of like you can go anywhere, so the the level is unlocked. But what's there to find? There's not even like optional. There's not even characters to talk to, that don't have stories. There are NPCs that people complain they can't remember where to find. Um, there's like, I guess in Elden Ring you can give it credit because you can find ruins and you do get treasure chests. You do get treasure chests which have what weapons or weapon uh, ashes of war or whatever, or um, bosses that have yeah ashes of war and shit like that. But in a typical open world game like even Red Dead 2, it's like you get off the beaten path and other than finding, kind of it's almost like an Easter egg to find. I found some a meteor that had fallen through a um a building or. What else did I find? There was like a water tower you can climb, and there's this weird song that starts playing. It's kind of like an ambient song, but... But I just thought... And then there was this building I couldn't get into, and it's like, what am I supposed to not get into this, or wonder how to get into it, or not know I can't get into it? Like, what if I could go... What if I found it and go in there right there, and there's like a weird sniper rifle in there? And it's like, you'll never guess. I explored, and I found this item. Same with Horizon. Imagine if Horizon... Or like, you take the concept of a Metroidvania where where locations in the in the level are locked behind your not having a power, right? You need a double jump to get up there. And then, you know, people invent, you know, a, a super jump dash or a bomb jump to get up there or something, and you start secrets breaking, all the shit. And it's like, well, what if I go to this area early and try and get this extra ability? Or what if I break off the beaten path and I find an ability early? Or I find a really heavy boss. Like, you used to be able to go in an RPG, go to a high-level area and farm enemies. I'll, 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 I'll go to a tough area in Horizon, and I'll fight these really tough enemies and get all these parts, and I'll buy a really strong weapon. You know, like, to venture, you're not rewarded for venturing off the beaten path to get something good or necessary early. It's just like, and it, it, it's just like a bunch of optional stuff. Like, you want a bunch of tasks and chores to do. And even in Red Dead 2, you go, my gun's really shitty, let me go to the, let me go to the weaponsmith and buy something. And it's like, oh... You can't buy a shotgun or a better rifle or repeater or pistol until you complete a certain mission in the story. Cause, and it's like, well, why don't I just play the game and then eventually they give me the Lancaster repeater. Like, it just... So the mission is linear, but the world is open. And open just means outdoors, and it's totally optional. You, got, you guys... And it sells like fucking hotcakes. So, and there's, it's buggy on day one. Why am I even fucking complaining, dude? Just quit playing video games. 
lobby gives me a headache. I'm locked in. What? I'm locked in. Is there going to be a fucking jump scare, spook scare? Ah! I told you! They take a lot of, a lot of, uh, ammo. Anybody else in here? I'm yelling to, I'm yelling to freak them. I'm yelling to freak them. I'm yelling to freak them and scare the shit out of them. Shock their world. I wonder if I should fight her with, uh, melee. She dodged. I dodged. Am I dead? Just shoot her. Damn it. So, wow, that doesn't really work. Kind of got to run away. Ow! Oh, my God! Use your health. She pulled out two axes. Double axe? Double axe main? I wasted all my ammo. Fuck. I need more firepower on my gun. Should I look to do a real mission? I don't care. I don't care. Let's just run around and look. Oh my... So, I guess you can't explore the world. Cause it's like days gone. It's just going to be populated. Let me see if I can smash her. Alright. And you have to sneak in the open... Oh my god. You have to sneak in the open world. I want to quit. So then, okay, you have to sneak in the open world to avoid alerting enemies because they're going to waste six shots. That's just like Days Gone. Okay, your bike needing fuel is one thing. There's plenty of gas stations. You have a lot of money. You can upgrade your bike, which is supposed to – you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to upgrade your bike. And you can not um, uh, buy fuel. No big deal. But the ammo – Breaking down and need to look for fuel, and you don't know where it is, and then there are zombies, and there's ammo. It's like, enemies should serve as obstacles, where it's like, oh, no big deal, an obstacle, an obstacle. Like in Mario. Um, oh, big deal, jump on him. Oh, no big deal, whirl a wind him. Who cares? If your game wants to focus on combat, the combat section has to be, it's like, this is all I'm doing. It's taking all my focus. Now is a combat sequence. You need to focus on combat. And the combat's really detailed, and it's really fun, and it's really engaging. And it's not difficult, it's exciting. It's supposed to be exciting. It's not supposed to be stressful. It's not supposed to be painful. It's not supposed to be annoying. It's not supposed to be eye-rolling. Because devs don't fucking get it. They don't get what is fun about a game. Um, track down the girl's voice. Let's just do the main mission, then. Go outside and use the communicator. Well, why don't I just do this? Track the girl's voice. I guess I could use this. Because I wanted Mobius to send me some good weapons. Maybe I did that. Lock on. Lock on. Rogue signal. Investigate the Mobius residence. Did I just do that? Who the fuck knows? I guess not. Mobius APC Warden Crossbow. Do I want that? Um, let me check the time. Maybe I do want this. Maybe I do want this. Safe house? Um, before I go up here? Safe house? Alright, alright, I'll do it, sure. Um, I got time to kill. Wait a minute, only one waypoint? Only one waypoint? Give me this. So it's gonna be like that, huh? Another Ubisoft waypoint game, huh? Alright. Fuck it. So then there's, other than, other than, um, how do I crouch? Other than to gather ammo and upgrade materials and um, what I was going to say, ammo, upgrade materials, health items, the only reason, yeah, see, I don't care. So, like this right here, right? Yeah, that's the girl's voice. But I don't... I kind of don't want to go in here. The only reason to open these... Doors is to encounter enemies and get the shit scared out of you. 
and to lose all your ammo fighting enemies. So it's almost like better to, again, set a waypoint and avoid all optional things and make a beeline straight for the main objective. So open world is a fallacy of level design. It's pseudo level design. And it's slang for outdoor, and it just means. I mean, what? I mean, what does it mean? It means outdoor waypoint simulator. Climb and break. And there's an enemy in there, and there's nothing in there. Hang on, climb up, a, climb up, a, climb up that again. And now I want to see. Um, I want to aim the camera, and I want to watch him climb out this rim. Oh, I guess he didn't. Because it looked like he just walked straight out of the truck bed. You have to climb up there. All right, let me see if I can sneak around the back. No, here. Oh, my God, dude, really? You don't want to take? There's an enemy right there, so don't go there. Maybe I can uh, sneak him. So the open world serves to introduce me to enemies that I don't want to fight. Great. He has an axe. I can't stealth him. Is he going to turn around? Let's see if I can get him. No, come on! Are you shitting me? This is what I'm talking about. I'm out. All right. Let's try to oh, you're kidding me. Let's talk about what just happened there. Actually, I got nothing to say because you fucking saw it. Holy shit. I got nothing to say because you just saw it. Fuck me, goddammit. So? The point is to... Hey, how come that didn't give me, um... How come that didn't give me, um... I'm standing on the edge, that's why. How come that didn't give me any, um... Whatever it's called. It didn't give me any items. This game stinks, dude. Can I sneak up on him, then? So he heard me break into the car. But he's looking. I can't rotate the, the camera around well enough. Maybe he's not looking. They have axes and I don't, man. It's a different zombie. That's it? To get them all? Alright, get that, get that axe. So I have some good green now. Did I waste the axe? Did I waste the axe picking up? No. Alright. Again, I hear this uh, flash. Weapon parts. So you need to know to look. I don't want to look. I just want to play the damn game. He climbs up again, dude. What, somebody heard me? Just fight him then. I'd rather just fight. Maybe I should switch to easy, where ammo is abundant. Oh, if it's going to be like this, why not? I want that Mobius crossbow. Actually, I don't care because I don't like the combat. <laughs> you know what? Why don't I crap? Why don't I move through? This is becoming like a GTA and urban chaos. Why don't I move through this dungeon? Climb. Oh, really? You can't climb? Well, that'd be innovative. Um, especially with it being an open world. This game stinks, dude. I want that Mobius crossbow. Crouch. Press and crouch. Take. Press and take. And I mean, I'm, look, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking about... Um, you see him on the roof? I'm looking at it and I'm thinking about Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, but that game came out so much later. That's not fair. That was 20... Was that 2020? Or was it 2019? She's got a fire. Or was it 2019? Um, I don't know if I can move fast. 
He's got some stuff on him. They can't hear me, but someone's behind there. I don't know. I haven't seen one of these in a while. All right, Mobius. It's <laughs> just like on a waypoint. You just find it. Um, hold, draw, release, change bolt type. Um, gunpowder infuses electric current. So is that what I want to do? Go back? Yeah, I want to go back and um, ah, fuck. So now they heard me, huh? Take that, take that. I get it, Harpoon, I get it, take it. So now, get the waypoint off. Where, Where's this then? Follow the rogue signal. Do they see me? No, I hope not. All right, because I don't want to fight. Oh, fuck. They're kind of all around. Um, who's Who's looking at me? Who's looking at me? Field crafting, select and use. Shock bolt, medical syringe. Do, that's what I was saying. Do I want to go back and use them? Um, I guess I'll craft this shit because it's difficult, right? That's it. That's all I got. Harpoon bolt, shock bolt. All right. Um, what else do I want to do? To up. What do you mean change bolt? How many do I have? Clip one, stock two. Shock bolt, harpoon bolt. I guess use this. No, what? No, I want to do um the harpoon. Stock two. Oh, you can just hold. You can just hit square when you're um, wielding it. Okay. All right, let's keep the shotgun out. Um, let's go to the waypoint. All right. Fuck it, just run. I want to pick up this guy's gear anyway. Handgun bullets, pretty good. Reload that shit. I wonder if I can put them off camera. He's out of stamina. He's out of stamina. We'll climb up on here. Climb up on here and recover. Don't um. Hide, hide them off screen. Move the camera so that the enemies are not on screen and maybe they can uh, see you. I'll go in here, sure. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Investigate. Turn your flashlight on, dude. And stay crouched. I don't like this one bit. Nails, another component. I don't like this one bit. I really don't like open world games. That almost... I, I thought that was some kind of weird fucking monster. Field crafting component. What what I need is not to craft ammo. I can craft... This is the dumbest shit ever, dude. I can craft in the field. But I can't upgrade my weapon. Oh, God. Um, I... Uh, what can I do? What can I do? What's my time? All right, what's my time? Um... I want more firepower. Can I do this? I'm doing it. What about this? Another hundred. What about my shotgun? What about range? Increase the strength. Increase damage. Whoa, by a lot, huh? I guess. Um, I guess. Missing weapon parts. I need 120. Um, no, 70? Damn. Can I upgrade this twice? No. Alright. Wait, what about, what about this? Unlock level 2. Huh. Okay. Um, what about crafting? Make more of those. Um, I don't know that making handgun bullets is a good, is a good idea. Unless, um, let's do field crafting. I can I can't do field crafting, but I can do it in here. Does it cost less? Shock bolts. Uses that shitty goo. Alright, whatever. Maybe field crafting isn't optimal. 
you fully fully stocked up and reloaded? I want that shotgun out. And I want to um, get to Mobius. Well, where am I? Where am I? From here, we'll just follow the waypoint. How hard is it? Where is it? Follow the fucking big-ass waypoint on this stupid screen. Follow the big waypoint on the screen. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Wait, there are some enemies there. What's the deal here? Equip your communicator. And hold the tune. No communication from Mobius. We're cut off. I'm calling an Alpha One emergency. You know the protocol. Alpha One. Can I break these are these you What about the tech team? Can I break these? Uh, from in here? With no enemies? No man left behind don't mean shit in here. You got a problem with that? You kidding me? I've been waiting to be let off the chain. Crimson supermarket. Alright. Like they were here. Full? I'm full. I don't want to break that shit and get uh, all those enemies pissed. What happened? Oh, it's showing me. Uh oh. More signals. Side mission. Not sure if I want to run into these two. Sounds like they went rogue. Then again, weapons are useful. Who's um investigate both resonance points? Hmm. What do we have over here? It says I'm full of something. I'm full. So then shouldn't I use this stuff? Weapons crafting. What am I full of? St oh, just bot- what? Just worthless bottles. Um, alright. Where's my, um... Where's my next waypoint? Rogue signal. Investigate both rogue points. Um, I think I'm gonna stop the tape and decide what I want to do next. Um, so far, this game is shaping up to be boring. It's becoming more and more boring. Hey, let's look at my stats. Um, I don't know if I want to try the rogue signal or the other mission. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out in the next part. Um, what is this game called? Evil Within 2 on PS5.